Beshem Hashem Naseh Venasteach. Today we want to learn Netivot Shalom, the Mefarash, the explanation of Netivot Shalom on Parashat Beshalach. The Pasuk says, Mati Sakhelai, why are you screaming to me? Daber al Bene Israel, referring to Moshe Rabbeinu Hashem, told Moshe Rabbeinu, why are you screaming to me for help? Speak to Bene Israel, speak to the uh, Jews that they should uh, go into the Red Sea. Mm-hmm. What is this talking about? As we learn in Parashat Bashalach, that Bene Israel, they uh, got out of Egypt yeah. and um, the, the Pharaoh, Pharaoh and his army, um, they are after them. Yeah. So we're talking about three to five million people. Mm-hmm. Right, and uh, Paro and his mighty army yeah. are coming after them to get them back to e- Egypt, wow. and they come to the Red Sea, mm-hmm. and in their back, mm-hmm. there are strong, the the Paro army is coming, yeah. and on the sides are the mountains, yeah. and in their front is Red Sea, mm-hmm. so they have nowhere to run away, mm-hmm. and they don't know what to do. So Hashem is telling Moshe Rabbeinu, stop praying to me. Stop uh, uh, reaching out to me. All you need to do is just enter to the Red Sea. Go in, walk into the Red Sea, and I will save your nation. Yeah. So let's learn what is uh, behind this. Vayuman Hashem and Moshe Mati Sagalai, Daber, Bnei Israel, Vayisau, Amen Farashim, Hikshu, Al Omro, Mati Sagalai. So all the uh, explanations on the Torah, Ten Agrushat, Iten Torah, they talk about this subject. Why is it that Hashem is telling Moshe Rabbeinu why you are, you know, crying out to me? Uh-huh. What else could a Jew do yeah. right, when he is in a hardship? Yeah. It is uh, natural for a Jew to reach out to a to Almighty Hashem, Avinu mm-hmm. to Ribbonu Shalom, to our loving Father, you know, Hashem, yeah. help me. Right? Yeah. But who else can help us? Imlo la la asuk el Hashem itparach. Right? Omadua imlo agodosh parachu mantis tagala. So why Hashem is telling Moshe Rabbeinu, why are you crying out to me? Why are you praying to me? Why? This is meant to be. Whenever we have hardship, we need to reach out to Hashem, we need to pray to Hashem. Even if we don't have hardship, we need to uh, constantly be in touch with Hashem. Uh, Redemption mm-hmm. uh, from Egypt came uh, yeah. upon us because we cried out to Hashem, because yeah. we prayed to Hashem. Right? As it says, Vaishma Hashem and Kholenu, that Hashem heard our voice. Right? Because we prayed to Hashem, mm-hmm. Hashem saved us. So, what is so different over here? This is also part of the redemption. So what is so different over here that Hashem is questioning Moshe Rabbeinu, why are you crying out to me? Yeah. The whole essence of a Yehudi, a Jew, is praying. And yeah. we, we need to pray to Hashem. That's, uh, that's our essential um, yeah. connection to Hashem. So our Chachamim, they explain, ki midat hadin halo so they explain that um, the Malachim yeah. of the Egypt they came to Hashem uh-huh. and they complained yes, right? yes. they said Hashem why you want to save this nation yeah. right? the Egyptians are the uh, idol worshippers yeah. and these Yehudim these Jews also they worshipped idol 
لیت خود ات حقی تروک سو دی واز نات اینف پاور اف مرسی اف رحمیم اف هاشم دت کود پوش بک دیس دیس کی تروک دیس کمپلین اف دی ایجیپشنز انجلز رایت سو وزه آمر اقدش بخو لماشه ماتی سقلای And this is why Hashem is telling Moshe Rabbeinu, why are you crying out to me? Shem ki khafes ani la'azol l'Israel la'asot lahem hanes that if you guys, if you want me to help a nation of Israel that there should be a miracle ach kivan she'enam re'onlim lo da'i besa'aqa keneged midat hadin omon hame that you asking for mercy and you want to pray to me and you want to scream out to me for mercy I cannot uh, provide you with mercy mm -hmm. you are not fit for uh, mercy for Rahamim yeah. right among your nation there is uh, Ovet Abu Dozara that are comparable to the Egyptians yeah. so you are not fit to uh, to receive my yeah. um my uh, gracious uh, uh, mercy yeah. and rachamim the ama love double ben israel so hashem gives a solution to moshe rabbeinu yeah. speak to your nation that they should uh, go into the red sea pirush yeah. this means zot haesa haye usal israel that this is the um, solution that could contribute the saving of the Amisra, the Benisra. Shait Asmu, Shait Asmu, Be Emuna, Be Holivam, Vis U al Hayam, Kodem, Shait Halek al Same Habitahon, Ki Ani Osela Hemnes. That by going into the Red Sea, they are going to showcase, mm -hmm. they are going to show Hashem that Hashem, we have trust to you, we have emuna, we have bitachon uh, in action, we are willing to uh, sacrifice, to put our lives into danger by yeah. going into the sea. And at that moment, once Hashem witnessed yeah. you putting yourself at risk with all your limbs, yeah. Then Hashem would save you. If there is emuna and bitachon, then the power of rachamim and mercy can push away the din. Lehamshikhet hanes and can bring a continuous miracle. Hagadol al qidiyat yamsof. So Hashem is telling Moshe Rabbeinu a solution. You guys do not have enough credits yeah. right that i should act with you with mercy yeah you want to get extra credit i give you a way i give yeah. you a solution the solution is you need to have emunan bitachon you need yeah. to show me that you have enough emunan bitachon and that would be only at the risk of your life yeah שתם תפילתי איך עשה זה שהתפילות מעוכבות מלמעלה למעלה So the concept is that there are times that the tefila cannot help alone as our rabbis teach us Hashem eqra yomam velo ta'ane alayla velo domiyali. Ach yesh koach shashom gitruk eno omed befanav vehu koach habitachon. That there is, there is no kitruk, there is no complaint, there is no, there is no complaint against emunan bitachon. In other words, if a person there's a complaint against him. There's a judgment against him. Mm -hmm. right? In the heavenly court, if that individual uh, has emunan bitachon, mm -hmm. 
then his emunah and bitachon is gonna invalidate yeah it's gonna nullify yeah. the complaint against him kashay yehudi potach berachme shamaim when a person relies on the mercy of hashem shele marot gadol hakitruf then this bitachon is going to overpower the kitruk and Hashem is going to show mercy like the mercy of a father to his children. The koach of the bitachon uh, is, is different than emuna. Bitachon is more in action. Uh-huh. Emuna is a belief in your heart. And in your mind, in your thoughts, but bitachon yeah. is with your actions, right? That this koach is so um, mighty, mm-hmm. this power is so mighty that could uh, uh, save a Jew in any situation, mm-hmm. right? As it says, the midrash that the midrash says, elokei elokei bechaba tachti. Al Evosha Al Evosha that Hashem I I rely to you mm-hmm. so I have no uh I don't know how to explain that. I, I have no fear. Fear perhaps, yeah. Maasei Bach Bach Masai Sheba Le Yir Hamelech Velan Bachus Maase Bach Nase Be Bach Nasai Sheba Leir Hamelech Velo Bachus Mesu Shomre Hamelech Ubershu Lach Lachonto Amalahem Al Techone Shemin Bene Bet Hamelech Ani. So the story is told of someone that comes into the city that the uh, uh, king is residing mm-hmm. and he goes to the palace and he tells to the gods, right? Um, I want to see the king. Mm-hmm. So they say, who, who are you? He tells them, I'm, I'm one of the, I'm one of the children of the household of the king. Mm-hmm. So he waits till the morning and then they allow him to go and see the king. Amalo Hamelech, the king tells him, Makir Ata Oti Amalo Lav. So the Melech tells him, Amalo Hamelech, Makir Ata, do you recognize me? It's strange. Why the Melech is telling him, do you recognize me? Amalo Lav, maybe this, it's been so many years that they haven't mm-hmm. seen each other. Vem Ken Haech Ata Ben Beti. And then the king tells him, if you don't recognize me, if you don't really remember me, then how are you related to me? Mm-hmm. You are not one of my uh, household members. Mm-hmm. right? If you don't remember me, if you don't recognize me, then there is no connection. Yeah. Then you lost the connection. Amalo eni ben betecha. So the, that guy tells the king, Really, I'm not your uh, household. I'm not one of your households. Yeah. I'm not the son of your house. Uh, house. Mm-hmm. But I rely on your mercy. Mm-hmm. That if I, I figured, if I would tell you I'm one of the uh, households of your, uh, I'm one of the uh, members of your household, I'm like mm-hmm. a, a child to you, then mm-hmm. and then you would have mercy on me. Mm-hmm. So the Melech would tell him, I would tell them, if there would be a few people like here, Hoil, Ubi Batach, Hani If this is the extent of your trust, uh-huh. then I'm going to help you. Kach Ahmad David Elokai Bechabatakti Al Evosha. 
This is exactly what King David de- meant when he told Hashem, Hashem, I am relying on your salvation. Mm. Right? Don't leave me alone. Don't have me to be embarrassed. Don't leave fear of rejection on me. Mm. So that's what it meant. Rabbi Damanach. Vechen masinu be Esther Hamalka. Oh, Purim is coming. We also find by Esther Hamalka, right? Queen Esther. Shaf al pish and istal leka. Hemena shechina. Achazeka beko achapitachon. Even though that um, Shechina, Hashem's presence, left her, but she was able to reach out to Hashem with bitachon. Vaaf acharish lokai ekra yomam velot ane velayla velodum yali harebe chabatachti avoteinu bitechu. That after praying, right, and reaching out to Hashem days and nights, right, I still have bitachon to you, Hashem. I still have trust to you that you're gonna help me. Right? So don't leave me alone. That's what King Hamelech, uh, King David says. Mm-hmm. So this is exactly what Esther Hamel also had, uh-huh. right? That he ne- she never gave up hope on Hashem, mm-hmm. so Hashem helped him, uh, helped her. Mm-hmm. This is what Hashem is telling Moshe Rabbeinu. The explanation is like this: Why are you crying out to me? Why are you praying to me? Right? What's the point? The Om Nam Geula Geulat Mistaim Haita Al Yede Venisag El Hashem Elokai Avotenu. That even though that redemption from Egypt came through prayers. Af shegam sham haita achitruk shalalu va halalu of day avod zara because there was this kitruk, there was this complaint that um, the Egyptians are idol worshippers and the Yehudim among them they were all idol worshippers. Ach hageula haita mekuach habe. But it comes to tell us that really we didn't fit to be redeemed. Mm-hmm. But because Hashem promised Avraham Avinu mm-hmm. that uh, his nation, uh, Bnei Israel, will be redeemed. Mm-hmm. And not only will be redeemed, they're going to be redeemed with a wealth. Rechush mm-hmm. Kadol with a lot of wealth, money, everything. Ma'ashen ken hagi ilu hagadol shel kiliyat yamsuf. Right? That the um, the miracle of the opening of the Red Sea happened. She'alav lo ha'ita haftacha vehu mekocham shel Israel. It wasn't because um, of the merit of Jews themselves. It was because there was this haftacha, mm-hmm. haftacha, this promise that Hashem gave to Abraham Avinu that I'm going to uh, redeem your your nation. Uh, so that's, that's why lekach amal lo. So that's why Hashem is telling Moshe Rabbeinu, Why are you crying out to me? Daber bnei Israel vayisau. Tell bnei Israel to go into the Red Sea. She Israel yigilu et. That the only way Jews will be redeemed is through the bitachun. Uh-huh. By risking their lives by going into the water. Uh-huh. That they should go into the water and be saved right, through the uh, power of trust right, uh, in action. And through Bitachun, opening of the Red Sea happened. This is the klal, rule, that whatever we're learning in Torah is, uh, has eternal life lesson. 
ומלמד בזה הן לאיש פרטי, אני זה טלינג סימפל פיפל, רייט? רול, והן לכללות לישראל, אז מייג'ר רול אב לייף, שגם במצב של אלוקי, אקרא יומם ולא תענה בלילה ולא דומיה לי, that if you are in a situation that you reaching out to Hashem day and night and Hashem is not giving you what you need Adayin still Yesh Esa Bekoach Habitachon there is still another solution left by um, reinforcing strengthening your Bitachon Sheshom Kitruk Sheshom Kitruk Eino Yachol Laakev Vado that if there is bitachon, emuna and bitachon, they are hand in hand, mm-hmm. then nothing can uh, uh, overcome that. Nothing can oh. be uh, against bitachon and emuna. Ube tosefta biur, in tosefta explains another commentary. Right? Omro mati sagalai that what is it what is the meaning of the pasuk that it says why are you uh, crying to me right dehine qodem laka lakan keti vai vai suben isar et enehem vaina misraim no se akharem that bin israel saw that par o and his mighty army is coming to get them. Any moment they're gonna come to us, they're gonna get us, mm-hmm. who knows what's gonna happen to us. Right? And after they saw that they, um, these uh, Paro and his nation is coming, it Sarushan Misraim, the Kol Markabet Hatum Ah, that all these impure people are coming after them. Dachen. They said right then when they had no uh, no way in front of them to uh, run away mm-hmm. see and by the sides mountains yeah. right then they had uh, this unbelievable fear uh-huh. right they were trembling mm-hmm. And then they cried out to Hashem. And Moshe Amal El Ha'am Al Tirau. Moshe told Bin Israel, his nation, don't be afraid. It Yasevu Ru et Yushat Hashem. Right? Go into the river or go into the Red Sea and you're gonna experience salvation from Hashem. It Yasevu Hainu. Salvation means. Amdu al mekomachem, stand on your level, right? Shehare bezechut emuna, nigalu avotenu mimisraim, right? That Hashem, according to our rabbis of blessed memory, Hashem saved us from Egypt because of the emuna that we had to Hashem, the trust wow. and the belief that we had to Hashem. Ve'am alayim Moshe. שהם שיחו לעמוד בקוח זה של אמונה ויראו את ישועת השם that continue don't give up continue your אמונה continue your trust to Hashem and you're gonna see salvation so it all ends in אמונה אכן הקדוש ברוך הוא אמר לו מה תסתכל אליי that's why Hashem told משה רבנו why are you crying to me במצב כזה לא די בך בכוח שהתייסדו על מעמדם that when you are in hardship is not only enough to stand where you are you need to take some action אלא דבר בן ישראל tell בן ישראל we saw that they should go into the river they should go into the red sea שיחפשו לתוך הים מתוך הביטחון בישועת השם that they should trust that if they go into the Red Sea, Hashem is going to save them. Ki be'et shena'amed umitgaber koach al tiv'i keneged zeh serichal liyot 
Gamken peula be koach al TV la hamshi chayushua. That when you stuck somewhere and you need to take an action that is supernatural, right? No human being would would want to get drowned. Mm-hmm. But nevertheless, that's what Moshe Rabbeinu is telling them. Go into the Red Sea. Put your life into danger. Don't be afraid of getting drowned. When you do something supernatural, then Hashem will do supernatural for you. Mm-hmm. Mida can I get mida? Measure for measure. You guys are not fit to be redeemed. You guys do not have a, a you you giving up on your emuna, right? You don't want to take action. You don't want to uh, showcase your bitachon. Go in, do something supernatural, and I'm going to save you against all the kitukim on all the complaints that, uh, that are against you in the heavenly court. Bet kezot lo moila haderech haregila shel hatefilot ubakashot rachamim. In this unique situation, or any uh, unique situations in our lives that we stuck, right? We are. Uh, we have fear. We don't know what to do, right? We need to take an additional action mm-hmm. in, you know, physical action, something supernatural. This refers to a person who cries out to Hashem, I day, and Hashem is not answering. Mm-hmm. This is a regular prayer. Only through something supernatural that speak to Bene Israel. That they should rely on to something that is more than uh, uh, just natural. Right? That, that, that should be Emunan Bitachon. Inyan Bitachon who Matrika Naala Yotem Emuna. Bitachon is greater than Emuna. Emuna is mostly in your heart mm-hmm. and in your mind, but bitachon is more in action. Shetamin be'avad Hashem eloka elokab. She be'vada yushiyato by you know believing that for sure Hashem is going to save us. Uh-huh. Hashem is uh, is going to save uh, save you. Achen yesh baze. There are two levels to bitachon. Mm-hmm. Right, two levels. Yesh bitachon, beshev ve'al ta'aste. There's a bitachon level, you know, I see it, I don't do anything. Hashem is going to take care of me. Yesh right. bitachon, bakum ve'aste. There's a bitachon, that now I get up, I do something, whatever there is, I do. I show more ish the loot. I do... More, more than uh, just sitting down. Bisiat Misraim hala dai be emuna o pitachon be shev al taste. Wow. In Exodus, getting out of Egypt, right? For Bene Israel, with their levels, it was just enough to sit and do nothing. Ulam be et sham du al hayam. But when they got to the Red Sea, right? Right? This is after they got out of um, the borders of Egypt. Red Sea. When the Red Sea was in front of them. And the enemy uh-huh. was behind them. When and there were snakes and scorpions right, around them in the desert. <clears throat> then there was a need for a miracle <coughs> that is greater than nature, mm-hmm. greater than na- natural uh, uh, salvation, supernatural miracle. She has up ulad le minateva. That you need to act, take an action that is more than teva, more than natural, supernatural. And that is when you put your life into danger by jumping into the sea, 
by going into the sea, by showing that I have emuna and bitachun, that is supernatural, that is kumbaste, getting up and do something, right there, if there is such an action, then Hashem would save you. That's how Hashem opened the Red Sea. Right? That's lesson for life. That's sometimes that, right? Naturally, right? You did whatever you had to do, right? You followed the code of law. Mm -hmm. You followed what Emuna tells you, Bitachun tells you, right? But you see that you need to do more. You need to do an extra uh, step. You need to take an extra step, right? Then Yeshua would come. Hainu sheyachsiku be'emuna o bitachon be'ishuat Hashem be'ofen shel she'e ve'al ta'aseh ve'alze amar ha'kodosh baruchu. This is something that you need to do. You need to understand that there is a, uh, you, you need to have bitachon. You could just sit and do nothing, right? But if it's not helping, then you need to do more than that, right? She'e... Ata endai baze ella daber benaisa. For you in this situation, uh -huh. it's not like being in Egypt. It's not enough. You need to do. You need to jump into the river, uh, into the Red Sea. Ata serichim emuna u bitachon be maase. At that time, you need emuna and bitachon, belief and believe, belief in action, bitachon in action. Vechen haya. That's why Nachshon ben Aminadav Kafas. Nachshon ben Aminadav was the first person who went to the Red Sea and water came up, 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 up to his neck. Right? He went that deep. Right? He was about to get drowned. Right? Right at that moment, Red Sea opened for everyone. Ubekesh Vehoshia Elohim Kiba Umaim Al Hanefesh, that water was going into his mouth, he was dying. Hashem opened the Red Sea. Baliadeze Hamshihu et Hanes Sherkiriat Yamsov. That's how the miracle of Yamsov happened. Wow. So the, the lesson, just to, to summarize this, right? If you stuck somewhere mm -hmm. and you use all the tools, you reached out to Hashem, you checked your actions, right? Everything is fine. You've been praying, emuna, you have everything. But then you need to do an extra action. You need to have more bitachon uh, with emuna in action. You need to do something supernatural. And if you do it, let's say in many cases, somebody, you know, he gives tzedakah. Right? But he needs more salvation. Then he should increase his tzedakah. That's something supernatural. Or uh, he needs some Yeshua salvation from Hashem. He doesn't do certain misfort, you, uh, you know, usually. But for this, he accepts upon himself a mitzvah extra, supernatural. It's hard for him. But nevertheless, he's going to do it. Hashem is say, you did something supernatural I'm going to do something for you that is supernatural that according to my laws according to my criteria I cannot have mercy for you but for you I'm going to make an exception because you made exception right you made exception you did something above natural Hashem should help us that we always reach out to Hashem and be saved Amen